Today, we are going to learn more about Melchizedek and how you can deepen your connection to this Ascended Master, as well as how he supports you with your spiritual connection. Welcome. I'm so excited for this video today. I feel like this has been a highly requested topic for a long time. Melchizedek has been around in my world, in my teachings, in my courses, in my community space for a long, 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 long time. And I'm finally making a video about him and to share more in terms of my perspective when it comes to working with Melchizedek, my experience working with him and how you can deepen your connection to Melchizedek. Now, I'm going to preface this by simply sharing that my perspective of Melchizedek and my experience working with him is probably different than what is talked about in the Bible, which is a lot of what I share is not related to that. And a lot of people ask me, you know, where do you get your information from? How do you know this? Where did you read about this? Where did you learn about this? And everything that I teach and share on my channel is from my personal perspective, from my own channeling, from my experiences. And I'm really glad to see that a lot of what I share and the messages that come through me as a channel resonate with so many of you. And I'm so, so grateful for that and so grateful that the divine is using me as that resource. And so it's going to be the same thing here with Melchizedek. If you look it up, there's lots that is spoken about with regards to Christianity and with regards to the Bible and things like that. And I'm not disregarding it. It's just simply that's not my experience. My information is based off of his energy coming forward in my channeling and in my healings, energy healings that I do in the courses that I teach He's come through so many times with wisdom and with guidance and with information to be shared both for myself personally, but also with my clients and with my students. So that's where my perspective is coming from. So to start off, let's first just share who is Melchizedek. And if this is the first time that you're hearing about him, why should you care? Why does he matter? And the answer to that, first and foremost, is that I see him as an ascended master, which is essentially a frequency of energy of beings that have lived a life and that have now ascended and become, become a part of a different realm of beings where they are now here as universal divine energies that guide us and that support us, that help us on our journey, that help us with our own spiritual evolution. So they're there. You can consider them like guides. They are like the archangels, except that they are not from the angelic frequency. They're just in their own different realm. But the most important thing to know about Ascended Masters is that they are here to support you for your highest good. They are of high integrity. They are of divine light and love. They are here to ensure your evolution, your spiritual awakening, your rise into your greatest potential. And so that's how I view the Ascended Masters. And then, of course, Melchizedek is a part of that. Now, when it comes to the overall, his overall purpose or his overall way in which he supports us, he brings through a lot of divine wisdom. I see him as like a wise master. He's like a wise master and he holds so much knowledge. He holds so much information and he helps us to tap into that same wisdom that we hold within our own self. I believe that all of our souls have access or have a connection to sacred knowledge, to sacred wisdom. And Melchizedek supports us with being able to tap into that and however that might look for us on our individual individual journeys. Now, when we begin to tap into this energy, into this frequency, what happens is that we are guided to let go of our egos and we have to let go of maybe specific habits that have been feeding our egos or that have been validating us in some way. 
And it really calls us forward into a journey of, of service and a journey of selflessness in many ways and a journey where we have to, like I said, let go of our egos and really be and follow and listen, be in that listening for the divine and how the divine is guiding us into our higher purpose. And so working with Melchizedek, I see how he comes through and it's like he strips away layers. He strips away illusions. He is very direct, like very just like, this is what it is. This is what you need to do. So if you want to, this is what it is. And if you don't, then okay. But like, that's, that's just the thing. Like he doesn't sugarcoat it. He doesn't like, you know, he doesn't have that, that kind of sweetness to him in, in a way. It's more just this energy that's like, this is what it is. I'm here calling you forward. Are you coming? Like, I'll, I'll, I'm here, but like, this is where you got to meet me up here. I'm not coming down. Like, you got to meet me up here. So you got to let go of that habit. You got to let go of that way of being. You got to let go of that ego thought. And you got to meet me up here because he's going to call you forward into more of your true self. So any excuses, any reasons why you can't do this or why you're not ready yet, or why it's not the right time. He's just like, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> not in that sense, because he's, that he's not, he doesn't have that type of mannerism, but just, you know, it's just one of those things where it's, it, there's, he's like a no nonsense kind of, kind of being. That's how I feel his energy. And so my experience working with Melchizedek has been that he's always, always, always stepped through whenever I've been doing any sort of spiritual journeying or spiritual healing with, for myself or with my clients. And he just, comes through. So he's very closely connected to the angels because all of the work that I do is based off of the angelic beings, specifically archangels as a main one, but also Herschel angels, guardian angels. And so just being able to see how he comes through and supports the process, whatever it is that we're working through, he'll often come forward and reveal something to my client, or he will come through as a, as, as a way to kind of establish or represent kind of like, this is your next level. This is where you're going. This is what, what we're working on. This is your next step. Like he's very much this like, okay, I know that you're ready. You might not think it, but I know that you're ready. So I'm going to call you up. I'm going to call you forward and you're going to step into this. And it's kind of like, oh, okay. I guess I've been assigned this thing. Like, I guess I got to say yes to it, you know? And so working with Melchizedek, I feel it's often one of those things where we are receiving any sort of guidance or next steps from him. And then it's up to us in our free will to then show up for it. Like he's there as almost like that accountability that's saying, okay, you know what it is. Are you going to show up for it? I'm here as your accountability partner. (laughs) Like, are you showing up for it? So he really pushes us into becoming the best version of ourselves, into becoming the next evolution of who we're meant to be in our light, in our truth, in our power, in our purpose. And so working with Melchizedek, I have found to be very powerful in not letting distractions get in the way or not let letting us like self-sabotage things get in the way. Like I said, he's a very no excuses kind of energy. And so working with him, if you've had excuses that I've told you why you can't do something or why you're not ready yet, that will quickly go away with Melchizedek. So if you're wanting to deepen your connection with Melchizedek, the best way to do so is to begin to just simply explore that energy in meditation and to feel his presence. So you can call on him, say, uh, Melchizedek, please come forward. Please be with me here now in this meditation. And it doesn't have to be, I, I recommend that when working with Melchizedek, you don't try to direct it like Melchizedek, I need this or Melchizedek. Can you give me that? It's more so what is available to me now? And being in an assumption that Melchizedek knows more than you. 
Melchizedek knows better than you what's best for you more than what you think is best for you. And so it's being in that, which I know is like, ego does not like hearing that, but it's being that humble space of, you know what? Hands off the wheel. Melchizedek, you show me, you guide me, you reveal to me what it is that you see for me and who I am in my potential, in my abilities, in what I meant to step into next. And in allowing him to, like, it's kind of like the surrender into his guidance, into what he sees for you, to guide you knowing that it's guiding you into the, 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 into the next level or into the next evolution that's for your highest good. So working with him in meditation, I find is really powerful because his presence, it's like in meditation, you're very surrendered and you're very open and your ego ideally is not getting in the way. So in that mo- in those moments, that's when Melchizedek can really come through and support you with whatever it is that you need. And by the way, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a meditation with Melchizedek. I'm not going to do it in this video today just for time's sake, but I will make a a meditation with Melchizedek if that's what you want. So post it in the comments. Let me know. Like, yes, I would love a meditation with Melchizedek to get to know him better. Post that so that I know. And if there's enough comments, I will do it. But that's one way that you can uh, deepen your connection with Melchizedek is simply inviting him in in your meditations. The other way that you can uh, deepen your connection with him is through channel writing specifically. Like I said, he holds a lot of wisdom, a lot of guidance. Like he's very much that guiding type of energy. And so being in reception in 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 different modes where you are surrendered. So channel writing is another way that our ego can be put aside in order to be fully surrendered into the channeling and into the information that is wanting to come through. So setting yourself up with channel writing is as simple as having your notebook, having a pen and beginning to call upon Archangel, not Archangel, uh, calling upon Melchizedek, almost like an Archangel, but not quite calling upon him and asking him for guidance. What is it that I need to know today? And then when you're channel writing, you are tuning in to the stream of consciousness that's coming through and you're beginning to just write, even if you don't know what you're writing or you're trying to make sense of it. Like, don't try to make sense of it. Just write like whatever word you feel coming in, just write it down. And the sentence will make sense later. Uh, The phrase, whatever it is that you're writing, it will all make sense later. But for now, just focus on each word and Melchizedek will support you in that way as well. When it comes to working with the angels, you, especially if you're on, you've been on this path for a little while now, and you're beginning to be familiar with the angelic realms, Archangel Gabriel specifically is coming forward right now. As I'm sharing this, I see him stepping forward and Archangel Gabriel feels like a kind of like a bridge, like a connector between you and Melchizedek. So if you're very comfortable and familiar with the angels, then you can also call on Archangel Gabriel as that kind of like support where If you're just getting to know Melchizedek, you have Archangel Gabriel there. You can lean into Archangel Gabriel and ask him for any any clarification or anything that you need to know or how to be supported in your relationship with Melchizedek so that it all kind of comes into, uh, into a fruition and into a space that feels really good for you and where you're open to that receivership. And so I found that sometimes, again, like I said, when we're meeting or connecting with different beings, that if we have a familiar being with us, like Archangel Gabriel, for example, then that can help with your overall openness to what this ascended master has for you. So that's the other way that you can connect with with Melchizedek and to be supported in getting to know him. And like with anything, when it comes to our spiritual connection, it's about how often you are practicing that connection and how much you are allowing yourself to be in that presence. That's how you're going to get to know it better. Just doing it once isn't going to cut it. Like you have to keep being consistent with it. So um, that's the other thing that I recommend, highly recommend with Melchizedek is that you are being consistent with your connection with him in order to 
develop it even further. Now, the last thing that I want to just uh, put out there, because I feel like this question is going to come in. So I'm going to just share it now. And I've seen it before, people asking about the order of Melchizedek. And what is that? What does that mean? What is that referring to? All, all of those things. So again, if you do your research online, very limited information online, then what you'll find most mostly around the order of Melchizedek is that it was his priesthood, which again, is based on what is in written in the, in the Bible. When I tune in and ask Melchizedek about the order of Melchizedek, he talks about it as a way of being or a way of life, almost like a way of service when it comes to your particular purpose and when it comes to your particular life path. And so in a way you might kind of relate it to priesthood, but it feels like priesthood is very limited and very kind of like in this box. Whereas if you think of the concept of what priesthood represents, how it's a way of living, a way of service, but you expand it out and it's not so conforming and so like tightening to you, but instead it's more aligned with the greater divine purpose of being in connection with love and being in connection with our true selves and living authentically and sharing our gifts and being able to show up to be of service and to help other people, that is more of what that represents. So you can think of like de that definition, but like let's expand it and actually bring it in a space that feels uh, sovereign and feels freeing and feels aligned and empowering for us when it comes to our spiritual path. That is what the order of Melchizedek is. And it's essentially you, if you feel like you are a part of it, or you feel connected to it, or you feel drawn to or towards it, it means that there is a certain purpose or a certain way of service and way of being in integrity with that purpose and of living your life that aligns with the values of the order of Melchizedek. And, and those, it's all the things that I already said around how we live in connection with divine love, how we live in connection with our authentic truth and expressing that truth and being able to be of service to other people through that expression and how we show up as our full selves because of that. So that's what that means. And, and so when you hear it, when you hear other people talk about it, or you might receive that as, as a message from him, it essentially is a, it's a way of calling you forward into looking at like, is, are there things in my life right now that are not in alignment with that order and in living life in that way? And am I being called forward to step into that? If you've been asking, what's my purpose or what am I here to do or what's my next step, that might be showing you. Your next step is to live as your authentic true self. It's it's to shine in your light, to express yourself, it's to be an example of divine love, you know, all those things. And then the question is, okay, what do I need to do next to support that so that I'm living in integrity and in alignment with that truth? So just a little tidbit around that. Uh, to support you on your journey. And so I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what your experience has been with Melchizedek. I'd love to hear it because I feel like so many of us do experience his energy and feel his presence and know that he's around and have felt guided by him. So I'd love to hear what your experience has been with Melchizedek to know that he's here supporting us with the angels alongside, like they work <laughs> they're they're working hand in hand like they are right next to each other so it feels very appropriate to have that information with the angels in here on this channel so let me know in the comments below your experience with melchizedek let me know if you want me to do a guided meditation with melchizedek and i'll share that as a separate video on this channel and then anything else that you want to share with me i'd love to hear it i always am open to your suggestions your opinions anything that you want to share with regards to this. I cannot wait to read it in the comments. And the last thing is if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you share this out with your friends, your loved ones, your communities, and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel as well, because every week we have a podcast episode, we have angel videos that come out. So I can't wait. I can't wait to hear more and to have you be a part of this. So 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you so much love and angel blessings, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.